Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. Um, I know it's been uh, three weeks since my last video. I just thought I'd come on and give you a quick update. I thank you all. The, there have been many people that have reached out asking if everything's okay as they recognize that I haven't done a video in a few weeks and I really do appreciate it. And I thank you all so much. Um, as many of you know uh, that have been following us, April has been uh, quite a month. Uh, ben was evicted from his home, April 2nd to be specific. And since then, a lot has happened this month. And as a loved one, as crappy as some of this stuff is that happened, um, I believe that it has led Ben to where he is today. Uh, just a quick recap this month, eviction, uh, living on the streets, detoxing, shelters, uh, safe house, uh, back on the streets. The last couple weeks he has been on the streets. It's been really challenging as Ben hasn't been getting enough sleep. Uh, it affected his mental health and uh, it's been really tough for him as it is for us loved ones watching our loved ones suffer, uh, it's been quite tough. Um, what I can tell you is that um, this last week or so, Ben, I'm gonna say rock bottom, reached his rock bottom. Uh, he may say something different, it is his story to tell. Uh, but what he did say to me is that he is broken and he is tired and he wants to fix his life. That was music to my ears. So um, I will just tell you that he is where he needs to be right now. Um, he is uh, taking care of his mental health and uh, you know, he also has not used in the last week, which is a, another plus. So he is actually reaching out to his supports. He has uh, an addiction worker. He has a mental health worker. He has the supports um, as his mom. I am there to support him and help him with recovery. Um, but today he's he's good. It's still rocky and challenging, uh, but he has reached out for help. I will, it is Ben's story to tell, but I just wanted to reach out to all of you and say thank you so much. I really appreciate your messages and asking if everything's okay. Everything is okay. Um, I continue to take care of myself. I continue to use all my tools. Um, I am not the helicopter mom hovering over, making sure he does what he needs to do. It is his decision to make um, as to what he wants, how he wants to recover, and I am there to support him. It needs to be his decision. And uh, for the loved ones out there, uh, you know what I'm talking about because it is very hard to sit back and try not to fix it. And so I am sitting back, although it has been a busy few weeks, um, just being there by his side, supporting him and allowing him to make decisions for himself. Uh, he knows I'm there. I, like I said, I am continuing with my self-love, self-care, and I just wanted to just take these few minutes to say thank you all, and uh, I really appreciate it. And as soon as Ben is up to it, I'm sure he'll come back and give you his story. So thank you so much. Everybody take care. And remember, where there is breath, there is hope. Take care, everybody. Bye for now.